So let's see Leo what your soulmate wants to tell you today. Let's begin. So God's and angels and spirits and guides, please allow us to receive messages for Leo, Simon and Rising from his or her soulmate. Something they wouldn't say out loud at this time so that we make Leo aware and awaken to the energies. Okay. So let's cut the cards, Leo, and see the bottom of the deck for the uh, the most important message from your soulmate. And we have the King of Swords, so you might be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If not, they see you as being fair and just, and they also see you as the Queen of Pentacles, nurturing, uh, grounded, um, making money abundant, a little bit like the Empress, you know, that is one side of the Empress. Actually, both of them, that's interesting. That's new also. Uh, both of them are kind of um, embodying the energy of the Empress because she is a brilliant mind with a heart of gold. A brilliant mind, the sword, and uh, the heart of gold is a uh, pentacle, nurturing, right? And um, yeah, so this is amazing. This is amazing. This is uh, two queens actually. But they see you, they see you as, um, you know, uh, embodying two different energies that complement each other, by the way, because it is so rare, right, to be extremely brilliant and then um, being generous, right, and kind and nurturing and taking care of people versus somebody who's sharp, laser focused. Uh, you know, uh, Queen of Swords, I mean, she's, uh, you know, she cuts to the chase, she doesn't uh, lose herself in details, you know, she's, it's not about empathy, it's about the truth, you know. So embodying two of the energies, beautiful energies, by the way, no judgment anywhere uh, with any of the, uh, of the energies here, both of them are kind of complementary, right? So yeah, you are appreciated, Leo. Six of Cups, they are your soulmate. The only card I don't read in reverse. They are definitely your soulmate, this uh, person of yours. This is if you are questioning who is my soulmate, well, now you see. Um, and uh, what else? King of Pentacles. So we have King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I believe I'm picking up energies of a married couple and being on the same page, being soulmates, advancing in life, uh, focusing on being uh, stable, financially stable, making money, nurturing people around you. And um, this is also uh, Leo, your soulmate, worrying maybe about money. King of Pentacles about the business person making money. Um, and King of Cups, I don't understand, Leo. You have two queens and now you have two kings. And none of, none of that is your energy, okay? So maybe I'm uh, picking up energies here of a Leo who has uh, two prospects, two people. Uh, one is, um, you know, an earth sign. One is a, 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 an air sign or a, a water sign. I don't know. So maybe they have water in their chat. You, you let me know in the comments. I really read each and every uh, comment that you post, guys. But this is them being emotionally balanced and being in love with you and, you know, awakening, soulmate and awakening. It's a twin flame. It's more than, um, yeah, and wanting to come back. Anyways, we will see how the reading unfolds. But we have here the Six of Cups and the Awakening card. This is a beautiful energy of them telling you, I know I love you. I have as a King of Cups, I have this big cup for you and I want a second chance. Now I know, now I'm awakened and I see you for all the good stuff that you are and you have. Ten of Pentacles in reverse again. So there is something about money, uh, Leo. Your soulmate is trying to tell you something about money. Something about being cautious with money, maybe trying to make money, focusing on money right now. Uh, something that, you know, maybe they don't make enough and they think about it. That is a communication in regards to money, okay? Uh, and of course, we have the marriage card on the bottom of the deck, of course. An offer of marriage here. So Leo, you are in trouble if you don't want to get married because somebody means business, somebody means uh, building a foundation, somebody means, uh, you know, uh, commitment and having the kids and the community and everybody knowing it, our, a connection out in the open. 
So if there was hidden, can be sex, uh, same, same sex marriage or a, a commitment, a relationship because we have two queens and two kings. So I'm picking up an energy here. Um, and it's all about, you know, uh, coming out, coming out and uh, sharing a life together for some of you. Okay, that's what your soulmate is telling you. And starting a new journey, taking a leap of faith, being courageous, leaving behind old patterns and starting new. Having the sun all over you with happiness and, and being like kids again. You know, this is, this is really them asking you to take a leap of faith with them, um, Leo. They want to start new. Of course, you make them happy. You are their wish fulfillment. You are the only person that they want. And, uh, and they are just content themselves and happy. You are the only one. They are single in their card, you know, just by themselves and being happy and having a, a big smile on their face, knowing that you are the one, Leo. You are the one. They love you. Of course, they feel stuck. See, we have, they want to communicate, rush in, Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot in Reverse, Cancer Energy. I believe they feel stuck on money and financial career. Maybe that is a job that they are stuck into and they want you to know that if they can't come forward right now, it is uniquely because of money, Pentacles Energy, uh, problem in the house, in the family extended, mom, dad, and he here you are, Queen of Wands, Leo, here you are. So it is, that is something that they want to rush in with the uh, Knight of Swords. They want to talk to you. They want to discuss matters. But that is a, something about money that uh, keeps them uh, blocked and defending. You know, in a, in a blocking and defending energy here. So that is that. And then we have the Magician Festation. And this is a card saying that the person that you are having all the tools, uh, having your emotional balance with the cup, having your wants for the passion, direction, career, and focus, uh, you know, having the pentacle for the, the abundance and uh, the nurturing, but also for the money, financial stability, the way you relate to money, the way you make money, how uh, money contributes to your, um, you know, let's say physical realm right and um yeah and the swords the bright mind that you have and there is also the infinity sign on the head of the magician and this is meant to be together forever and ever infinity it never ends right this is also of course magician the magician is very playful and uh, this is your soulmate telling you that they love the the tricks that you pull on them uh, sometimes when you behave like a child, you know, that kind of energy, playfulness, right? And that is, uh, that is a big energy that they um, appreciate here. So I don't know if that is something I need. I don't know, it's the second time I'm seeing the uh, Emperor. So maybe you are dealing with an Aries here. And that is love in this one after betrayal. If that's an Aries, you know, somebody might have betrayed you. And now they feel sorry about it and they wait for something. I don't feel it's disrupting the energies here. I don't feel it's for you. Um, all these energies are good here, are amazing and very coherent. And they are telling you, you know, Leo, your soulmate is telling you, I know you are mine and I'm coming to get you. Okay? They are already manifesting, visualizing, talking to God, spirits, and whoever accompany them through this uh, life journey, right? So, Leo, please let me know what you think, guys. Of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. I love you. Take care. Bye.